So we went from this Next project. This one's a fun one. I really wanted to do it. A little bit of work is going to go into it. Let's start spray painting. Look at the pretty colors. We picked the colors based on the duct tape that we chose. This was really hard because we kept picking orange and purple, but then we felt like they didn't really pop. But now I, I could see orange, right? <laughs> now I can see it. <laughs> this is never seen a big one. We decided to put them on sticks because <laughs> they're taking forever to dry. And we're getting eaten by mosquitoes. touch-ups needed. I don't think it's going to rain, but if it does rain, by the time it rains, they'll be dry. We just don't feel like we can outside for them to dry. So, we will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Fact check. Apparently, uh, if you leave balloons on your deck, the sun oh. will melt them into your deck. Oh. That's what we get for being lazy. It would have been a lot easier to just pick them up the same day we did it. Oh. Now, <laughs> They're really deep in there. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? All right, so we're ready to go pick up those painted tubes. It's the following day, and now we have a little bit of time to work on them. Let's go. I'm just double checking them to see if we missed any spots, and then we're gonna go and do them really quick. Uh, we missed a couple, like we want the inside done too, so that when you see it, it looks really pretty. So we're gonna go get some spray paint. <laughs> All right, so we did a little bit of touch ups. So we're gonna wait till that dries. Now, it's very important to make sure you get a board with holes or else your work will be like tripled. Um, the holes allow for the zip ties to go through. All right, so the only other thing you need Lots of zip ties. We got white. Last time we got black, it looks very ugly. <laughs> this time, well not white, it's like clear. So hopefully they won't come out too much. Everything is nice and dry. Look at those colors. Oh, and duct tape, which is where the color theme came from, the tape itself. Um, just if we needed to combine anything, if we do any plastic bottles or not, those are also good to have in mind. Um, but I'll start designing and from there I'll know if I want to add anything else in. Okay, so this part is actually pretty simple. You take the zip tie, you kind of align it with the holes. You literally, like you're sewing, put it through this hole, and it has to come right out of that one. So now you align this, and you secure your zip tie, and then you cut off any access. Make sure it's pretty tight. The tighter, the more secure. It's not gonna wobble on you. There you go. And I used it obviously inside this indent here. So when you do these tubes, you want to keep the zip tie around here. Don't put it on this because it'll slip off. So let it get snug in between there. So there you go. First piece is on. Actually, hubby brought up a good point. The way I did it would have left me cutting it here, and they get pretty sharp once you cut them. So you want the bottom part, uh, this little guy, to come in from the back first so that when we cut it, 
we cut it from the back and that way all the sharp edges are far away from Lila. So there you go. I'm just gonna put that in. Now we just cut it back here and the sharp edges are far away from Lila. So she's safe. We're gonna do that with all of them. But that's kind of the idea. Um, just in case, I just wanted to show a close up how you do it in case you're wondering, well, how are you doing it? That's how we're doing it. So I just did the layout. There's uh, two options, whether she puts it in here or here, but there's a 50-50 chance that this one will go down this one, which is kind of cool. Um, so now we just gotta secure it with the zip ties and hope for the best. <laughs> All that's left to do is get it up on the door. That's daddy's job. I'll help. <laughs> but it came out pretty, pretty cool. We're using marbles. Or you can use a heavy ball that doesn't bounce. If it bounces, um, it tends to bounce off the edges easily and it may not go down the route it should go. Um, a couple things to keep in mind. We had to add on this little section. At first it was just a cut like that. Um, but it kept, what is it, like falling off. falling off. So we had to like put a little guard up. And then at the bottom, um, it shoots out. And it didn't really fall out, but that could be a possibility. So just to prevent it, we put a guard. Uh, I probably need to add another guard there. Those are the, the two things we ran into. Balls, <laughs> make sure you have the right type. Ping pong balls are way too light. So they're kind of boring and they kind of just bounce around all over the place. Um, so something heavier to actually allow gravity to really pull it down. Well, Lila was napping. We finished the whole thing while Lila was napping. She hasn't seen it. It's going to be nice when she wakes up. She loves this. We made her a cheaper version um, and we said if she really liked it and played with it, we would take the time to make her a better one. She plays with it every time I would go into the garage. So I'm like, all right, we'll make you one. <laughs> Came out really nice though. I like it is done. Lila's still not awake, but it's going to be a nice surprise because we're going to have her open the door and see it. There you have it. Pretty cute. And I added polka dots. <laughs> Just to play up the design, make it a little more kid friendly. But overall, I'm very happy with it. So this started the concept. We knew what we wanted to do, but we didn't want to spend too much time on it if Lila didn't care for it or play with it. So we tried this out first. She absolutely loved it. So we're like, all right, all right, we got you. We're going to make a way better one. It's that kind of crappy. <laughs> I know it looks terrible compared to this one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what do we got for baby Lila? Are you ready for a surprise? <laughs> she just woke up. <laughs> Let's go see your surprise. Do you want to open the door? There's a surprise over there. cheaper version one I've been looking forward to doing this one I'm pretty happy with it she enjoyed it she kind of got lost in it for a little bit of time um, which I like to see sometimes 
the ball doesn't go in the right way. Like a lot of the times it does, but sometimes it doesn't by the bounce or whatever. Um, and that's when you can make like alterations. Like here, we'll, we might buy like a small one that kind of connects the gap. Um, the problem was we were trying to make too many balls work. And in this case, the further away worked for the ping pong balls because they bounced more. But then if you use a heavier ball, um, it tries to go way outside, but if it's higher up, it'll fall directly in there. So a couple things to just kind of adjust. We didn't really need to do very much except for what, that, and maybe secure this better because they're falling out of the, this part. So maybe if we secure it, or smaller one. make it, or yeah, take this one out and put a smaller one. That way it forces it to go in directly instead of bouncing out of here. But that's about it. I think it came out pretty cool. I like the little polka dots. Oh, and another thing, make sure that you actually level it right. Ours is a little off, I think, which yeah. might be throwing it off a bit. Yeah. We're going to fix that um, because if it is a little bit tilted, then obviously everything starts to get shifted and it, it may throw it off a little bit. But overall, I like it. It came out nice. And it gets tucked away beautifully because if I don't want to see this anymore, bye bye. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this activity. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want, hit that bell for notifications so you're notified every time we post a new video. Until next time, bye guys.